Hey you guys. <laughs> How do I start this? Um this is a tiny little bit different. Uh I have no makeup on. I just have the huge lashes, but I really wanted to share something with you. Uh ASAP. Uh I'm just so I want to take a moment and appreciate how grateful I am for being in this country uh, for being in Romania <laughs> and um, how is it like to live in Romania as a Christian what is Christian life like that has penetrating penetrated the culture in such a profound way although not everybody's declared christian like evangelical whatnot um but they do have christian values regardless of their level of faith regardless of their belief level of belief and of practicing uh, religious stuff and like customs but as a country in general guys i have never lacked anything because of people and i wanted to share to you a few things that you may experience if you come to romania and to not be scared of the kindness of the people i'm not saying all is nice you do have some unhappy moments too you do have some scams too but this video is about the good side of it and it's worth sharing and one of the things how to put the camera one of the things um, that you will notice is people will bring you random foods when they see you or, or not even when they see you like will people you know or um, distance family friends will call you ask you if you're home ask you if you're home at this hour uh, and say um, my friend is gonna come drop you something and they're dropping you basic tomatoes or they're dropping you uh, aubergine boiled aubergine for the salad you know for the pa paste spread salad spread paste aubergine paste they're dropping you chicken wings out of just just cooked like nothing special just dropping you that some chocolates they, they they drop you whatever they have in excess if if a neighbor if somebody m cooked something in excess and they have like a palm extra they're gonna give it <laughs> they're gonna give it to their neighbors to anybody and it's not like there's no such thing as small gift like I'm gonna give you one biscuit extra, you know? <laughs> like, there's no such thing as, oh, this is not enough. This is, what is this? Is this a gift? It looks like I'm making fun of them because they can't afford, like, food or what? Because we're bringing basic food. But this is, like, the generosity that is in the genes kind of thing. <laughs> sharing. Uh, but sharing because you have too much of it, usually. <laughs> Whenever you have too much of it, you share. Um, another thing is um, when second thing when somebody comes to fix you something in the house like I had like uh, mounting furniture help or like um, doing the, the electricity or um, the sanitary system or or just helping out like if a if a handy guy comes in or you go to help somebody out um, there's no 
the cost that you guys exchange is is agreed like like informally and it's like oh how much do you want for it you know let me give you this extra and they always give you extra and um i got times where somebody helped me like cut the the board like cutting board the um, for the fur for the kitchen furniture and like they were like oh just give me whatever like you feel like you want to give me you know <laughs> you know but they were like uh, kind of professional i don't know and <laughs> and it was just like oh whatever you want you know just pay me whatever you think you could pay me you know there's no like or oh, you need to pay me this amount of money and this amount of cents <laughs> it was just very like open kind of it's kind of disturbing too sometimes but it gives room for like tips or like or somebody helping you out and they're not demanding any money but because they helped you out you sew into them you um pay them for the time i went to help out mounting some furniture because i got a reputation now that i mount furniture somebody asked me to mount some furniture and uh i was like just give me a hundred lay like in lay and they give me 150 and then i went like i thought it was for the whole furniture thing you know and I went there for three days and I, I gave cash, <laughs> like half a salary at the end. People are generous, you know, and I didn't, really didn't expect that. Uh, there was no agreed price, so it's just like, they, if you did them a favor, they want to help you with that, like so into that. And another thing is, you can trust people you just meet. That's the third thing. You can literally trust I mean, I can trust, I don't know about you, we have scams too, but I can feel that I can trust that person. And like there was a sanitary, like the, how do you call that? The one um, installing the sink and the, and the showers and all that water stuff. Um, and uh they after we worked together like they dropped me home and it was fine it was not sketchy it was not like going in the stranger car they dropped me home they dropped me wherever i needed to go they dropped me in a different place they helped me carry my bags like we exchanged numbers in case we needed help networking and it's it's and you get so many people in your network out of nowhere like you just went out to help somebody and realized the owner is a real estate developer and and then we talk about our house and then bam you make a connection like that <laughs> like it's not formal it's very informal networks are a huge thing here if you don't have it you're you can't really survive and if you are a nice person honest don't steal a lot of people will recommend you and if I did one thing that is good that person is gonna tell another person and then you get the reputation and that everybody speaks good of you and that you get the cash <laughs> you get money you get clients you know I don't didn't even search for it but because people are just nice and they liked what you did for them they liked how you how you worked for them and then then they recommend you and without you even asking anything and then you get calls from nowhere and the another thing that really shocked me that triggered this video actually is um uh, i i forgot my charger at a flat that i don't have the keys anymore for it was almost flat and i call i'll call i called the owner with which i get along now and I was like, I forgot my charger. I really need it because I have 7% battery. And I need to train for the for an exam on my phone. And my laptop is in, at the repair shop. So I have no laptop, uh, no charger, phone is going to die. And the the adapter for the charger, I don't have it neither because it's a UK charger. So, 
like I can't even charge a different phone because I had an old phone but I can't even charge that one because I don't have an adapter uh, so I was like what do I do and then then I was expecting because the owner had the keys and the the um, the handyman had the key so I was going to call the handyman if he can drop at the flat and bring me home my charger and the owner actually said that like he'll come because he was like do you need it now or can you wait tomorrow and I said I can't really wait tomorrow and um, he was like two minutes he was like two minutes because he knows where I live because he, he dropped me off before so he was like two minutes and literally two minutes he was in front of my house he was like give me your phone he takes his own charger charges my phone in the car to check if it works and gives me his own charger for iPhone and I was like wait do you have another one do you have a spare one uh, you're giving me yours cuz like I'm in a rush <laughs> cuz I have no battery I need to practice for an exam and I'm in a rush um, he was like yeah yeah it's fine my phone is charged I charged him in the car and I was like okay then you can have mine which is at the flat your flat because he doesn't live there but there's a flat uh, we can have mine we exchange and he was like no no he gave me the keys to the flat whenever I want to go pick my charger and I was like how about your charger and he was like don't worry we're gonna meet again <laughs> So it's like there's so much trust like who would ever give you their charger not having a second one like in the UK and France like no girl you're gonna go and wait and wait whole night <laughs> without phone too bad you're gonna sleep and pray <laughs> without any phone and tomorrow you're gonna go get it you know but no he like drove at 9 p.m. To bring me a charger and we'll see the next day how we do it and swap things up and I go pick up my charger because now I have a key, the keys to that flat it's a flat that we're renovating for Airbnb but like it's crazy it's crazy how how much trust there is and this is not the only example like I, I have other examples where people like sacrifice themselves for you like and they're not even like Christian 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 it's so nice anyway I wanted to do this kind of switch in my YouTube a little bit to talk about like share a few Romanian aspects and what it's like to live in Romania as a Christian and I there's also like spiritual warfare a lot that I can sense there's a lot of like blockage also here in the minds of people but I will talk about that when I get my laptop and when I can upload proper videos but yeah that was the update sorry guys for my face but we don't care about my face bye god bless